This is our Gospel Reflection for Monday morning. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am still with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the Gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In these weeks after Easter, so many of the readings are from John's Gospel where the idea of this revelation of the Father coming to us through the human life of Jesus and through his generosity and giving his life for us is revealed and manifested, God's mercy and God's glory. There are a few really interesting phrases in today's gospel. Early on we have, whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. What's it mean to have the commandments of God and Jesus? It is to allow our lives to be informed by them and to most of all know what Jesus speaks of in the Gospels as the greatest commandments, love of God and love of neighbor. But I think that the really important promises here, there are three of them. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Jesus reveals his mercy to us in answer to our prayers. And then, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. That's really an amazing thing for someone with the Jewish background of Jesus to say, because the dwelling place of God on earth was, in the Jewish mind, the temple in Jerusalem. And Jesus in the, in the Gospel speaks of himself as the temple of God, the God resides in Jesus during his human life on earth. And now in this portion of John's Gospel, which is part of the discourse that Jesus gives his followers at the Last Supper, he is saying that God will dwell with those who are the followers of Jesus and the believers in Jesus. We will become the temple of the Holy Spirit who was promised to come in Pentecost and to remind us of all that Jesus has taught us. The gifts of Jesus in baptism, the gift of the Holy Spirit in confirmation, are the gifts that allow us to have God live within us and to influence our lives, not just in eternal life, but here in life in this world. We ask the Lord to bless us to be signs of his love in a world so desperately in need of God. May God bless you during these difficult days. Stay safe. God bless you.